friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to make a card using this Lawn Fawn Wish Upon a Star stamp set and I wanted to do some water coloring with some shimmery paints. The paints that I have are the Twinkling H2O's, which I'm not even sure that they make anymore, um, but there are a lot of other shimmer paints on the market right now. There's some from Fine Tech and Gansai Tombi and several others as well. So there's, um, they're easy to find if you're looking for shimmer paints. So I'm starting out with the color uh, Mystique, which is kind of a turquoise blue. And I'm just taking a number four round of my silver black velvet brush line. And you have to spritz a little bit of water into these little pots to get the colors to flow, which I did before the video so they would be nice and juicy. And then I'm just dipping my paintbrush in there and kind of laying down the color where I want it, keeping it to the right side of the panel. The green color that I used is called Celadon, and I'm just going to add that down at the bottom, and then I'm going to take a little bit more of the Mystique and try to blend those two colors a little bit more seamlessly together. The next color I'm using is called Iris Petal, and it's a nice uh, dark blue, kind of like a royal blue. So I'm going to add that right above the turquoise and then blend that transition together a little bit. I decided I wanted to make this little wash of color a little bit wider, so I'm just extending that out. And then now I'm going to go in with Royal Satin, which is a really pretty purple, and I'm going to add that to the very top of that panel. I'm just going to go back over some of the colors now and just continue blending. I wanted to bring that blue down a little bit more so it didn't get lost. I accidentally dipped into the green, but that was okay. I just went back in with the turquoise right over top. And then I'll just add a little bit more green at the bottom, kind of extending and bringing that color down just a little bit farther so that it um, is equidistant to the bottom as the purple is from the top. So I'm just going to add a bit more of that blue and a bit more of the purple to try to blend those a little bit better. And then I can set this aside to dry. I've stamped out the two foxes on some Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, which is the same cardstock as I use for the panel. And I just used the smooth side, which is on the back there. I stamped these in VersaFine Onyx Black and then clear heat embossed them to give it that nice raised edge. And now I'm going in with the color Harvest Soul. And I am just going to lay in all my shadows on this larger fox. I'm just going to work on them one at a time so that I have time to blend the colors without it drying too much. Then I'll go in with the shade Mango Freeze and lay that down in the center where all that white space is. And this is a really pretty golden orange. So I'm just going to put that down and then once I have that where I want it, I'm gonna go back into that Harvest Soul and kind of drag the color over until the colors blend a little bit better. Then I can go in and repeat these same steps on the smaller fox, just starting with that Harvest Soul for the shadows and then going into the Mango Freeze for the accent shade. And I did feel like the mango freeze was a little bit darker than I wanted, so I just dipped my brush in a little bit of water and kind of wet that, moved it around a little bit, and then I could go back in with the Harvest Soul and create a little bit more of an accent color just so I could maintain some of those highlights and lowlights. I lifted off a bit more color with the water just to uh, lighten that area up. And then I set these aside to dry until I could die cut them with the matching dies. Going back to my panel now, I'm going to take some Copic Opaque White and I'm just going to add a little bit here onto an acrylic block and then spritz that with a little bit of water from my Distress Sprayer. And then I can take a paintbrush and kind of flick that on. But first I wanted to cover up the bottom portion since that's the grass, so I just used a paper towel there and then I'm just going to flick that off and dab any away that was like too big of a blob there from what I wanted. And then I decided that wasn't quite enough. I wanted a little bit uh, more of a finer spray there because I'm trying to make a starry sky. So I just added a little bit of water um, off to the side so it wouldn't be quite as 
as liquid and then flick that off again until I had a nice fine mist of stars. I let that dry for a minute or two and now I have added a bunch of the constellations from this stamp set onto an acrylic block and I'm just going to prep that with my EK Success powder tool and then I'm going to ink those up with some Versamark ink. It's just a sticky clear ink that works great for embossing and then I can pull that right up and coat that with some clear embossing powder. I'm sorry, I used white embossing powder this time and um, just add that over top of the constellations and then tap that off on the back to remove any excess powder. Then I'll just grab my heat tool and heat that up until the embossing powder melts. Next I'm going to work on my sentiment and I'm going to do that in uh, two different parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this large word star and stamp that down at the bottom of the panel on the green portion that's going to be my grass. And then I'm going to take the rest of the sentiment and I'm going to stamp that down on a piece of black scrap cardstock. And then I will sprinkle both of those with some more white embossing powder and just heat set them. And then I can trim down that sentiment into a little strip. I've die cut my panel down just a bit using the largest of the small stitched rectangle stackables dies from Lawn Fawn. And now I'm going to add a little bit of glue onto the back of my black sentiment strip there. And I'm just going to adhere that down, kind of tucking it in over the S and the T in the word star. And I'll just set an acrylic block over top of that to kind of hold it down in place since that paper is a tiny bit warped from doing the watercoloring on it. Then I'm going to add my larger fox right over top of that sentiment strip. Just trying to get that placed where I want it. And then I'll add the little fox right next to him. And add an acrylic block over top of everything just to kind of fold it down. For my card base, I'm using a piece of Lawn Fawn Black Licorice cardstock scored and folded to a standard top folding card. So it is four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall. And it wasn't lining up quite right, so I'm just going to line it up with the top and the two sides. And then I could just trim off the bottom to match once this panel has fully dried. Since my card base is black cardstock, I decided to create an insert to uh, write my message on the inside. And on that, I'm going to stamp out an extra constellation and also a sentiment that reads, Make a Wish, and I use Lawn Fawn Manatee ink for that. Then I'll just take a little bit more of my Tombow Mono Multi Glue and add that to the inside and then press that insert right over top, just lining it up so that I have a nice little black border all the way around. And that is going to complete our card for today. I'm going to try to turn my panel in the light so that you can see that nice shimmery watercolor. I think these are super fun and like I said there's lots of them on the market to try so um, there's something for everyone for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Here's an extra couple videos you may also find interesting and you can always click on my photo to subscribe to my channel. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye bye.